here with Dan Tudge, and we are talking about Sword Coast Legends, the D&D &D game, as it is called by many here at E3. Um, so this shows people uh, who are more used to D&D, &D, maybe like as the, the dungeon master, his or herself, uh, creating and then playing through certain quests. Uh, tell me about it a little bit. Well, I think for a lot of D&D players, uh, part of the best experience has always been, you know, to sharing that story with others. And so we've really created, um, with Campaign Creation, a way for players to really tell their story and really create their adventures. Um, if you've already played maybe a certain campaign or two, would you be able to recreate it in pretty close detail or what are we thinking here? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that was the that was the, um, the test I put to the team. I said, hey, I guys, I want you guys to pick your favorite campaign and recreate it with our tools. And if you can do that, we've succeeded. And, and uh, I recreated my favorite, so. I saw him and he killed me, thank you. He was too <laughs> overpowered. Um, so a big part of D&D is character creation. So what do we have in terms of variety in this game? Well, with character creation, we're, not, we're still not showing a lot of that off, but I can tell you that we have um, five races and six classes. So, um, but there's a lot more to D&D than that, and we're, uh, we're committed to adding those uh, as soon as we get a chance. But we want to be, quality is first, so we want to be disciplined with our scope, and we're sticking to those core ones first. Can I be a drow is mainly what I'm asking. Yeah, everybody asks about the drow. The drow's close. Wait and see. All right, all right. I'll settle for half-elf, if I must. Yeah, there's half-elves. <laughs> there always are. Um, so tell me some of your favorite parts of uh, creating this and incorporating elements that D&D &D players might recognize. I think for me, the, the shared stor storytelling is really the key component. I mean, creating uh, NPCs in the world and, and, and giving them a background and giving, you know, customizing their appearance and then giving them, giving them quests to give to the player. And, and, and so I even enjoy role playing those characters with my voice over IP or around the table. Uh, I mean, for me, that really recreates the, the whole D&D &D experience. Is it possible for people to share campaigns they've created across the internet with strangers? Absolutely. That's, uh, that's a really good point. You can definitely share your campaigns with others and uh, that's really the environment that we want to create with our community is, is that sharing of content. Very cool. So let's say someone is maybe not used to D&D &D and wants to play and more used to PC fantasy games or, or the reverse. How would they uh, find this game? Um, well, they would, they would find this game, I think, um, very accessible. So I think one of the things that uh, with D&D games in the past, especially the ones that have tried to incorporate Dungeon Master, uh, you know, and cooperative play and things like that, it's been it's been not really that approachable for the for the mainstream. And so the key for us was to make it very approachable, make it very easy to pick up and play. And we have Dungeon Crawl mode, which is very instant action for a Dungeon Master. Um, but we also made it deep for those characters that really do want to create those near endless adventures. Which version of D&D would you say this is the closest to? Uh, it's based on 5th edition, which is the current edition, but for me, you know, I've been playing D&D since a long time ago, and uh, for me, I think um, this one's very close to the original 1st edition. Um, it feels very similar, the two feel very similar to me. So every dungeon master, worth his or her salt, throws some kind of crazy twist in there, and they're really the only limit is the imagination. How does this play out into a game that has certain presets? Um, well, I think that's the, the uh, we have a lot of presets to help empower people to create content quickly, um, but all of those presets can be all set to nothing and you can fully customize everything. So you can, you can do anything you want. You can have the, the character you've been searching for turn up as a dead body. Um, you can have that character turn evil on you once you get to him. Right in the middle of a conversation, you can have, his, have him change to a, an evil faction and come after you. So um, there's nothing really limiting that. One last question, would this be closer to like a quick play or would I have a campaign that could last days, weeks, months, even years? Absolutely, months or years, I mean, you certainly could continue on with the content and we plan um, to really create much, much and similar to the, to the tabletop D&D &D, um, tools that allow people to continue to tell their stories for, for, for years. All right, any idea when this is coming out? I saw it coming soon. Yes, it's uh, September 8th on PC and on consoles, PS4 and uh, Xbox One later in the year. Well, there you go. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs>